The first one I have is what they call a split ring lock washer. This is a, what they call a medium split ring. It's really the standard washer. This is a half inch diameter, internal diameter, half inch. So this is your standard lock washer. It's been cut uh, on the edge there and then twisted. So when you lock a nut down, it locks the nut in place. It's good to use these with a flat washer. So if you took a nut, I mean a, a bolt, and you put a washer on it, and then you put a nut on it, that's basically the way that you would put a lock washer. You can see the washer there. And as you tighten, torque down on this, it's going to flatten that out and put pressure on the nut so it can't vibrate loose. Then we have what they call a high collar lock washer. High collar is substantially thicker. You can see it. This will put a lot more pressure on the nut so the nut cannot vibrate loose. So the high collars are a lot harder to flatten out as you're torquing down on the nut. The next lock washer I have this is called an external and its mate is the internal. So the external lock washer has these little prongs on the outside. And if you look at them, they're a little bit bent. And when you put this on and then you put the nut on and you tighten it, the nut locks into these little um, prongs. And this is what they call an internal, where the, the prongs are on the inside, not on the outside, giving the outside a nice finish, what you're looking at when, when your finished product is complete. So internal lock washer, external lock washer. There are different applications for these two type of washers. There's so many of them, you'll just have to decide which one works best for you.